Welcome to Conversations Live. For more than a decade, we've brought you the best in books, entertainment, celebrity interviews, and current events. When the movers and shakers of the world have something to say to you, they say it to us first. Here's your host, Cyrus Webb. Welcome back, everyone, to Conversations Live. I'm your host, Cyrus Webb. Glad you all could join us once again. But for our radio audience tuning in at WYAD 94.1 FM and WYADonline.com, we're glad that you all could be with us. Also, it's tuning in for friends at iHeartRadio and Amazon Music Podcast. We're glad you all could be with us as well. Well, I know the new year is just beginning, but if you're already making your travel plans for this year or thinking about a dream trip for the future, I think our next guest is going to really be interesting for you. For those who are looking for something different, the U.S. Virgin Islands offers some of the best beaches and and resorts found anywhere in the world. And joining us to talk about it, as well as to share tips on how to make the best experience for yourself when it goes to visiting the islands, we're excited to welcome Joseph Bacholti to our program. Joseph is a commissioner for the U.S. Virgin Islands Department of Tourism. We'll talk to him not only about exactly where the U.S. Virgin Islands is, but also where you all can go for more information. Joseph, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate it. Hi, how are you doing? Thank you for having me. I appreciate the opportunity to speak to all of your listeners. Hey, look, the pleasure is definitely all mine, and it's it's interesting. When I first mentioned I was going to be speaking to someone about the U.S. Virgin Islands, I got a question that I know you get asked a lot, Joseph, and that is exactly where is it and how how do you get there? So let our audience know that maybe they've heard about the U.S. Virgin Islands, but where exactly is it located? Well, the U.S. Virgin Islands is comprised of three islands in the Caribbean, uh, St. Thomas, St. Croix, and St. John. Uh, we are located about 40 miles from Puerto Rico on the map. Uh, and we have nonstop flights from up and down the East Coast, uh, from Boston through the tri-state area, JFK and Newark, uh, down into D.C. from Dulles. Of course, we have flights in, multiple flights a day in from Atlanta, uh, Miami, uh, Fort Lauderdale, Orlando, Philadelphia, Chicago, Houston, Dallas. So there are lots of ways for you to get to the USVI and experience some of the warmest hospitality you'll find anywhere in the world. I love that. Well, if it is our audience's first time visiting, Joseph, what is it they should expect? What is it that visitors really appreciate about the island? Well, the first thing you're going to find is our warm people. You know, we love our visitors. Uh, We extremely appreciate the visitors. So you'll find that sense of warm hospitality. Uh, And then, you know, of course, we have some of the best beaches in the world, clear blue water, uh, white sandy beaches, uh, and as importantly as those two pieces, the water is warm. So at this time of the year, you know, our average temperature in the Virgin Islands is 77 degrees, and our water is still warm, so you can go swimming and enjoy yourself. Uh, Lots of activities to do uh, on the marine side. We have a thriving marine uh, product where you can go on half-day sales or full-day sales. Uh, or if you choose to have your seven-day or five-day stay on the water itself, we have wonderful opportunities for you to stay on water. Uh, and then, of course, we have you got to eat. So we have wonderful cuisine, Caribbean cuisine, uh, that is highlighted by uh, the seafood options you could get uh, that come out of our waters uh, as we are, do sit in between uh, two bodies of water, the Caribbean Sea and the Atlantic Ocean. So lots of wonderful cuisine uh, to be had. Uh, and, of course, as you mentioned, we have wonderful traditional hotel lodging, uh, and we have a huge inventory of sharing economy rooms uh, to be found on St. Thomas, St. Croix, and St. John. Well, I love that. And that is really great information to know, Justin, especially about the weather, for one, which is kind of crazy where we are broadcasting from right now, so it's great to know uh, what to expect there. So I do want to ask you, though, about something that a lot of people are looking for. Of course, they do want to travel, as you know, especially after the past uh, few years. Are there any promotions that are going on our audience should know about, or is there a better time to be able to book to go? Yes, we actually have a promotion going on right now on our big island, uh, St. Croix, a vibe like no other. Uh, we are offering a $200 uh, air credit uh, for each passenger, traveler that comes in. And if you stay five nights, uh, you get to have a minimum of 10% off your hotel stay. Uh, so that is $200 per traveler to, the, to St. Croix, uh, as well as a 10% minimum off your hotel stay uh, to come to our big island, St. Croix, a vibe like no other. And all of this information and anything else USVI you can find at visitusvi.com. That's visitusvi.com. All right, visit USV 
FBI.com. We'll make sure that we link that up for our audience. Again, everyone, Joseph Pasholti has been our guest. Joseph is a commissioner for the U.S. Virgin Islands Department of Tourism, helping you guys see why the U.S. Virgin Islands should be on your travel destination list. Joseph, thank you again for the time. Really appreciate you dropping by today. Thank you. Thank you for having us. Look forward to seeing you in the USVI sometime in the very near future. Oh, for sure. Definitely. Thank you. And we thank your audience for tuning in to another great segment of Conversations Live. Until next time, I'm your host, Cyrus Webb, saying as always, enjoy your day, enjoy your life, enjoy your world. Thank you all for choosing Conversations Live. Let us go make today amazing. Take care.